Hello everyone, it's Jennifer, and thank you for joining me today. We're gonna to be making a necklace using some of these beads from the Honey Handy Natural Fire, Fire Crackle Agate Bead Strands. And it comes with 10 strands. And we're gonna be using this purple strand. So pretty, and it is just perfect for a necklace size. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off there. And look, I still have nine other strands to work with and all those other colors. We're gonna be using some Extreme Flex in Sterling Silver from Soft Flex Company and some of their two by two crimp tubes. We're also gonna be using um, a ring and a couple of wire guardians. And we're gonna grab a, screen, a spring clasp out of this Beetalon variety pack. I love that ring that we're going to be using because then I don't need to worry about a jump ring or anything opening up. We're gonna be using some flush cutters to cut the wire, and we're also gonna use some standard crimpers. We're gonna use some bent chain nose pliers, maybe, and some chain nose pliers if we're gonna be using a jump ring. I am actually going to be working from the spool. I like working from the spool because then it does minimize waste. And although I'm not gonna totally and completely eliminate waste, it does reduce the waste a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and all I'm going to do is just pull some of the beads off the strand and I try to keep them in a line so then it's easier to, um, to string them onto the beading wire. The beading wire is easy. It acts like a needle because it is a 49 strand beading wire and I love it. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna continue stringing and that's all we're gonna do for this quick and easy project. And why do I like using the Soft Flex beading wire? Well, it's good quality. It's the best quality. I love this beading wire. And they are actually just north of me here in California, a few miles in Sonoma County. I do use their beading wire for my fine line as this is sterling silver beading wire it has a has a coating on the 49 strands of wire so it makes it a very very durable strong wire. The 2x2 two two crimp tubes that I showed you are from Softflex as well, and they are sterling silver, and they have a thick, seamless wall, and very, very durable, very durable. I love using their crimp tubes. They also have crimp tubes in uh, gold filled, uh, so I use the gold filled. Now, more about these beads. These beads are, they're amazing. I love them because they're about, I think they're probably about four millimeters, and when I was ordering them, because I'm just ordering them online, right? And when I order them online, I didn't know what I was going to get. But with BB Craft, everything that I have received and ordered from them has been a very high, has been high quality. They pack their orders really super well. And what an what a variety they have on their website. They have so much. It is a one-stop shop. And they do have beading wire and they have all the goodies that you're gonna need. Now also too, they do have a VIP. And so if you sign up for their VIP, instead of paying $11.89 for this bundle, you will be paying $10 uh, $10.11 as of right now. And each strand does have about 90 pieces. It is a 15 inch strand and there's 10 of them. And it is again, like I said, four millimeters and it has about a one millimeter size hole. So this thicker strand does, um, does make the stringing easier because it does fit through all of the holes. I didn't have any issues with any of them. 
These are dyed and faceted. And like I said, there is multiple, multiple colors. And the gemstones that they use are absolutely amazing. I love them. All the different colors that they have here. Uh, I'm using the purple, but they also have like a blue and a pink. There's also a gorgeous orange and just it just is packed with a ton of different colors and you can very easily as you can see by this strand not two beads are the same so you can actually get that really good effect of having a, a mixed colored ish type piece with these strands. I have made um, bracelets with these and like I said I have a fine line and I will use these gemstones along with all my sterling silver and gold filled uh, findings so that my customers can have the highest of quality. Something else I would like to share with you if you are a YouTuber and you do tutorials and you share them on YouTube and if you have more than a hundred subscribers and if you are interested in becoming an influencer uh, for BB Craft, they do have a BB Craft YouTube program where you can get free products by doing videos and uh, it's just an amazing program. This has been, I think this is my third round of buying beads and sharing them all with everybody. And so I would like to share that opportunity with everybody else. Again, if you have more than 100 subscribers, please use the link in the description below and you can become a BB Craft influencer here on YouTube as well. What's really neat about it is that they will send you, they will correspond with you via email. And sometimes they will ask you for, um, for specific products. So in this video here, I am focused on the Honey Handy Natural Fire Crackle Agate Beads. And in my unboxing, which I am going to include in the description below as well, is where I have 24 different colors of glass pearl beads and some gemstone chip beads that are all from Honey Handy from Honey Handy brand. And I will also share the video that I um, recorded and posted making a bracelet using some of those chip beads and pearls and turned out so nice. Okay, so we're still working from the spool here and just need to add a little bit more room here. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pick up one of our two by two crimp tubes. Then we're gonna go ahead and add one of our wire guardians. And I like using wire guardians. It does protect the wire. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and pass the wire back through the other end of the wire guardian. The wire guardian has like a couple of different tubes and then a little grooved area where the wire sits. Let's go ahead and we're gonna add, we're not gonna use jump rings. We're just gonna go ahead and add our little connector directly on to that a beading wire that has the wire guardian. And then we're gonna pass our beading wire back through that two by two crimp tube. Now, what I like to do is I like to bring the ends of the wire guards together a little closer. It does, um, it does um, make things a little bit easier and look cleaner. Now with those two wires separated, go ahead and go into that back notch of your standard crimping tool and give it a little bit of a squeeze, then use the front notch and close it off. That first crimp separates the wire into the two, in the two different sides. And then you also too want to do a little bit of tug testing. We're gonna come in with our flush cutters and cut off the end, and there we have it. We just have very little waste. Most of the waste comes on this other side because you're going to cut off a little bit more than what you need because you want to be able to have room to, um, to work with your 2x2 two two crimp tube that we're adding now, our wire guardian, and then we're going to go ahead and pass it through the other end of the wire guardian, and then we're going to go ahead and grab that spring, uh, that spring clasp, and we are going to add it directly onto the wire with the wire guardian. 
Then we're going to go ahead and pass the other end back through the uh, two by two crimp tube. And I like to pass through the next bead, not for security, but just because it, I feel like I have a better grasp of it. But with these, I'm not going to. We're going to go ahead and close off the end a little bit there and then pull that tightly. You notice I have my necklace curved a little so that I don't make too tight of a crimp because then you don't want a necklace to be stiff. So let's go ahead and use that back notch, the front notch, and we're going to come in with our cutters and we're going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a trim after we do that little tug test. And there's our waist. Not that much. Not that much waist at all. And now we have it. We have a gorgeous, quick and easy necklace using the agate beads. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment. I'd love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.